When purchasing your ductless mini split, consider some of the accessories that you might want to get as well. Here they are. These are really simple, but really handy to have when running your line set on the outside of the home, and they are line set straps. And uh, they're going to make the job go a lot easier, and as you can see, they're a tie wrap of sorts with a special bracket that allows you to secure those line sets and the electrical wires from inside the home to the outside in a neat fashion. Those will certainly be handy. They come with screws as well. Another accessory to consider that you might want to have is this, and this is a riser kit. And what that does is simply raise the outdoor condenser up off the ground. Now you certainly can put the condenser right on the ground in the grass or yard or wherever you're putting it on the ground, or lift it up, keep it high and dry off the ground four inches, and you get two of these in the riser kit, one for either end. Uh, the unit sits on top of it and it has the bolts and nuts there to secure it in place against the footing. Now, I actually have bolted to the condenser right now an additional accessory, and this is a wall mounting bracket so that we can mount the condenser on a wall. When would you want that? You would want that if you're going to be installing a mini split system in an area where there's no place to put this on the ground. You don't have a yard space or you're putting on a multi-story building, second story, third story, or even higher, as high as you might want to go. Uh, this bracket has two pieces. One is already installed on there, and here's another one that would go on the opposite end. We have the uh, bolts and washers. These are quite heavy duty to secure this to the wall. And then this piece here, which actually goes on the wall as well. Uh, this comes in a few different capacities depending upon the size of the mini split system you're choosing. Let me just show you how this fits together on a wall. So we take the stray piece and then bolt it to the wall with the bolts provided. The nice thing about this is that although you're going to have a heavy condenser, it's not going to be an awkward installation because the first thing you only have to bolt to the wall is just this, and this is light and easy. Now, once that's in place, the next thing we do is we put the bracket arms in place. And you can see that they really easily just hang on the unit. Now they move side to side and there's little markings as to where to put them depending upon the size of the unit you have. And then the last step is put the condenser on top of it and then with the nuts provided secured in place and voila, it's secured to the wall without a whole lot of effort. By the way, if you're going to be installing this high up off the ground on a multi-story building, of course, use precaution and safety to make sure that both you have the appropriate anchors so the thing doesn't come off the wall and that you're safe as well so you don't fall down. And this accessory is for the indoor equipment of the ductless mini split system. What it does is it allows the water, which uh, normally drains off the back of the unit outside through the hole in the wall. Instead, you can pump that water, if that's not a convenient option, upwards or uphill. So let's say you don't want that to, to drain out the wall for whatever reason. Just not an option for you. You want to pump it somewhere else to a drain further away, up to even 60 feet away. You can do that with this pump here. Condensate train bump. It's an accessory and it will mount part of it in the back of the unit and part uh, usually up away in the ceiling. Let me show you where this goes in the back of this. And again, this is the part that mounts on the indoor wall. So this is where the water would normally come out of the back of the unit, and this would let the water drain out the wall to the outdoors, but if it's not, if it's not an option, then install the pump. So we have the two pieces here of the pump. Simply take this hose and connect it to the drain line on the air handler. Put the vent in the back. And then this pump will go up in the ceiling, typically, or uh, overhead. Now, we've got this tube and this wire. Where will that go? That will be run usually in between the wall. You can run on the outside of the wall, but then you're going to see it in the room. Typically, though, because they don't, they don't take up very much space, they can be run in the wall, in between the studs, up overhead, where you'll then do two things. One, connect your own field-provided drain hose, and you can run that then wherever you want to drain that water to the outdoors, up to about 60 feet away, as well as provide 110 volts at that point. And the 110 volts uh, connects right to this end here. Additionally, as an option, you can connect a couple more wires back to the unit where as a safety, in the event the pump should fail, it will shut the unit off. So, if you can't run that water line out the wall to the outdoors, the mini split condensate drain pump is just the trick for you. Mm -hmm.